Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie. I do do beauty reviews, tutorials, unboxings, and giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, for the month of August, I have a giveaway going on. I always do an eyeshadow palette giveaway every month. So for the month of August, it is the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. I will put a link in the description box down below that takes you to the video that shows you how to enter for this. Also, I've got going on right now over on Instagram a giveaway for that as well, and I've showed all, all the products to you here on YouTube, so I'll put a link for that giveaway as well. So today it's a little pamper me time, and I know with this heat and everything else that's going on right now, we could all use some really great hydration. And so I have five masks that we're going to review and try on, and then at the end, I will let you know my thoughts. So we are going to start off with the Tony Molly Intense Care Gold 24 Karat Snail Hydrogel Mask. Followed by Mid Flower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. Followed by BioRace Intense Hydrating Spernilia Mask. Followed by Soy Hydration Alert Sensor Mask for Soothing Moisturizing. And last but not least, kind of a different one, is the Slice Mask Sheet watermelon so let's kick things off with the Tony and Molly mask so whenever I try one on I just like to tell you a little bit about it I do know that this retails for ten dollars and what it says is give your skin the ultimate treat by slipping on our Lux gel mask formulated with 24 karat gold fermented snail mucus oh I don't know about this you guys Essence ginseng extracts and EGF epidermal growth factor. This gel type mask not only adheres perfectly to the skin and allows for better absorption of the essence, but it also boosts skin's vitality, improving fine lines and wrinkles. Love that. Need all the help I can get there. While well, restoring skin's elasticity and resilience, so skin feels instantly nourished, subtle, and smooth. It's that 24 karat magic, baby. So what it says, uh, what makes it good is the Lux combination of 24 karat gold, snow mucus, and ginseng gives the skin the royal treatment, providing intense hydration, vitality, and resilience to skin for a truly magical result. Some of the key ingredients are the 24 karat gold, soothes sensitive and stressed skin, brightens the complexion, and stimulates skin to improve blood circulation and prevent signs of aging. The fermented snail mucus essence is packed with nutrients that provide intense hydration and increase skin's elasticity. The ginseng extracts, rich in phytonutrients that help tone and brighten the skin. The EGF, epidural growth factor, stimulates cells to encourage collagen production. Yes, please. How to use it? Remove the film from the sheet and place it on a clean face. After 20 to 30 minutes, remove the mask. Gently pat any remaining essence into the skin for maximum absorption. So I've already cleansed and toned the face. So let's open this guy up. So it kind of comes in parts. There's so much serum that I can barely hold on to it. See you guys in 20 to 30. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. It does feel really soft. Had a ton of serum in it, which I really loved. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of a glow going on to it. I don't know if that's from the 24 karat. Kind of like a little luminosity. So I really like the one negative thing that I did notice is on the lip. It just kind of like, um, I wouldn't say burned, but it kind of stung just a little bit. And so that 
would be my only negative. Next, we will do from Midflower, the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. So today we're going to do the Midflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. It does have 0% preservatives in it, which is always good to hear. I did get this from Ipsy. It does retail for $5. And just a little bit about it. Despite the humidity, your skin does lose moisture in the summertime. That's why we stock up on the light hydrating products like this hyaluronic acid base mask. To keep your skin balanced and happy. Hyaluronic acid is our go-to ingredient when your skin needs a moisture boost. It helps your skin lock it in for instant long-lasting hydration. Anything with hyaluronic acid is basically like a moisturizer. So it helps to plump and firm for smoother, softer, and healthier looking complexion. This silky sheet mask feels like none other we've tried. It's light and comfy. We didn't want to take it off. It's made with 100% biodegradable, Lysel, environmental friendly cellulose fiber made from sustainable resources. Love hearing that. It's also great for sensitive skin that this uh, mask is really gentle. So a little bit about uh, Midflower uses cutting edge technology and homes the benefit of flower water and ancient practice and infuses into healthy, highly effective skincare products. So how do you use? Apply the sheet mask to clean skin, which I've already gone and cleansed and toned my skin. Uh, smoothing it out evenly over your face, chill for 20-30 minutes or until the mask dries out. While your skin soaks up the ingredients, remove the mask and massage any excess into your skin. So let's just open this guy up. There's a fair amount of serum. I mean, it's not dripping, dripping serum, but there's a good amount. So I'm hoping that this mask will let me do other kind of stuff around the house. I need to go make sure my son is packed for a dance trip. He is an Onkade Bass dancer and they are going on a trip to go perform at different museums in a couple of the surrounding states. So I'm going to go do that. I'll be back in 25. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. I did notice that the edges kind of peeled a little bit. My son wasn't too happy about me wanting to go help him pack with this on. He said I looked too creepy. Uh, but let's just put this there while it little soaks in while I kind of talk to you guys a little bit. You know, I like to do this, like to give my neck a little extra hydration while I am talking to you. So I did find it, uh, it's really, really moisturizing. Love that, really hydrated. I have pretty sensitive skin and this wasn't irritating or anything. It feels super soft. I uh, really like this. So next we will do from BioRace Intense Hydrating Spirulina Mask. Hey, so what do you think of my new background? Let me know in the comments down below. Decided to kind of switch things up a little bit. So today we're gonna do the BioRace Intense Hydrating Spirulina Mask. Spirulina Mask hydrates, replenishes, and calms skin, soothes sensitive, dry, and tired skin, deeply absorbs and boosts moisture content of skin. I did get this in an Ipsy. It does retail for $2.50. A little bit about it. It's a facial sheet mask with spirulina maxima extract. Helps moisturizing and soothing, minimize irritation of dry and sensitive skin. I do have pretty sensitive skin. How to use step one after cleansing. Smooth out skin with toner. I've already cleansed and toned. Place the mask on the entire face. And then after 15 to 20 minutes, remove mask from face and then dab to absorb the essence left on your skin does have the little notches built into it. It just makes it so much easier for me to open that way. Lots of serum. Okay, C 
see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, take it off. And I just wanna pat in that remaining serum. Here, so some of that can absorb it into here. So I really like how hydrating it is. I like that my skin feels refreshed and kind of calm. I really like this one. So next we're gonna do the Hydration Alert Sensor Mask Soothing Moisturizing by Soleil. Okay, next we're going to do the Soy A Hydration Alert Sensor Mask. It is supposed to be soothing and moisturizing. I'm really curious about this one because it's supposed to change the color basically when it's ready to take off. It, um, it's normally a $5 mask. It is on sale from the Soy A website right now for $3. So it has a unique printed pattern color that changes according to skin temperature while being used, signaling when it's time to remove the mask. Mask sheet material, blended tentacle microfiber sheet to measure time and temperature. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid, aloton, and trehalus to hydrate and retain moisture. Sentinel Azteca Maca side and alatonin, don't know if I pronounced most of those things right, it's provided for soothing benefits. So basically, put it on, leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure your face is washed and toned, which I have already done. Ton of serum, love it. It's like dripping serum. So it did, I don't know if you can tell, um, it doesn't look like it with it when it's on the skin. It did have little kind of very lightly colored stars almost on them. So I'm wondering if when it dries, if those stars become more pronounced and that's how you know when it's time to take it off. We will see. I will see you guys in 15 to 20 minutes. Now you can really see these stars. How kind of cool is that? Letting you know it's time to take this off. It has been about 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna pat this in. So I will say after about 15 minutes, I didn't notice a difference in like the stars coming through. So I was like, well, it said 15 to 20, give another 20. And then that's when I saw the stars do um, show up. My face, it feels hydrated. I felt it. There's other masks out there that I felt more hydration. The serum on it was almost like a watery consistency. Um, most serums I'm used to it being just a little bit thicker. And this face feels just a tad sticky. But I mean, for three bucks, I do feel a difference in hydration. So that's what we can ask for. So the, our final one in this series will be from Coco Star. It is the Slice Mask Sheet Watermelon. I am super excited to do this. It's like a bunch of little tiny masks that you can kind of like spot treat. Okay, let's end the series on a super exciting one. This is the Coco Star Slice Mask Sheet in Watermelon. It does retail for $5. And it is the Coco Star Watermelon Slice Sheet Mask 20 milliliters product. It is like a sticker. You can remove the mask sheet one by one and apply it all over the body. Coco Star Watermelon Slice Sheet Mask contains 10,000 ppm of watermelon extract, 
which, which is rich in moisture. Not only does it moisturize, but it also calms the skin. How to use, apply after removing makeup and cleansing the face, which I've already gone ahead and done. Remove the patches of the mask sheet one by one and attach it to preferred areas of the body. Peel off after 10 to 15 minutes. Tap in the remaining essence on the face lightly to absorb. Can be used before sleep or before applying makeup. It does have a watermelon scent right off the bat. And here's what they kind of look like. So I do like, so there's actually two sheets in here. So there's six of these little stickers. So let's just kind of put these on here where I need a little extra moisture. So I think for the sake of, I look a little silly, but I think for the sake of this video, I am gonna put on all 12. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Um, you, you know, just put it in a like a Ziploc bag and you should be fine. And it's pretty easy just to get these off of here. I like how they're kind of in slices because then you could put it you know, kind of wherever you want. And I'm gonna put two just kind of on the back of my hand here. Okay, I will see you guys in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's start to peel these off. Some of these have already fallen off. They kind of dried out pretty quickly, especially on some of them. Um, and so I was having to reapply them. It's funny how some of them really dried out and others did not. I don't know if my skin was just soaking up that area. And it said to tap in any remaining moisture, but I am definitely not feeling any remaining moisture on my skin. Um, any serum, I should say. I think it did a fairly good job hydrating. It does feel a little sticky. So let's rank these and let you know my final thoughts. I would say in fifth place was the Tony Moly Intense Care Gold 24 Karat Snow Hydro Gel Mask. Um, and none of these were super bad. Uh, it, you know, it was very hydrating. It was very illuminating. I did notice that it kind of stung my skin just a little bit. So that's just the reason why it was in fifth place. And fourth place was the Hydration Alert Sensor Mask. It was okay on the hydration. It didn't do a ton. I thought it was super cool how it... Um, changed colors to let you know when it was done. The serum had a really weird consistency. It was almost like a water and it was dripping out, so there was a ton of it, but I just didn't feel like my face was super hydrated afterwards. In third place, I would say it's the Coco Star Slice Watermelon Sheet Masks. Um, if you are sensitive to fragrance, this is not going to be the one for you because it does, it's not overpowering, but it does have a slight fragrance to it. Uh, my face still feels kind of sticky from it, and I think it could have done a better job on the hydration. Like I said, there wasn't, you know, serum to still sink in or anything like that. In second place was the Midflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Mask. It did kind of lift a little bit on the sides, but I found it very hydrating. It wasn't irritating. You know, my skin felt refreshed, glow, it felt really soft. I really like this one. But in first place was the Biorace Intense Hydrating Spruina Mask. This thing I just thought was amazing. It felt soothing. It was very calming on my skin. It's super hiding, very refreshing. Really, really like this. And this is my favorite out of this bunch. 
So what did you guys think? Do you like this sort of thing? Um, you want me to keep doing them? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do. It does really mean a lot to me. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when our next video will be posted. As always, you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Bye.